Hello beautiful people of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah if you're new here and I'm so excited that you joined me today. For today's video, we are going to be discussing all things cozy books. Now, I'm not talking about cozy mysteries. That is a later video. But today, I'm going to be talking about all the books that just give you a big, warm hug. Books that make you feel so warm and cozy inside, and books that you are more likely to reread. November is one of the coziest months that there is in the year, and what better way to celebrate November than to give you a list of the best, coziest books. All right, let's jump in. Okay, the first books I'm gonna talk about is actually a series, and it's one of the comfiest, coziest, feel-good series I've ever read. And it's a shame that I've not talked about this more on my channel because it's truly one of my favorites. And that is The Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams. Mm, I just love this book series so much. So this series follows a group of guys who are all friends and they each have individual problems in their love life. But they decide that they're going to start up the romance book club in which they all read romance novels to kind of help them with their problems. I just love that. I love this so much. This first one follows Gavin and Thea, and Gavin and Thea are having some marital problems. This second one is following Mac and Liv, and Mac is the friend group's clown, I guess, and Liv is actually Thea's sister. The next one is Crazy Stupid Bromance, and this one is following Noah and Alexis, and this is Friends to Lovers. And then we get to my absolute favorite in the series. This one is Isn't It Romantic? And this one follows Vlad and Elena. This is my favorite because Vlad is my favorite guy in the group just because he's such a golden retriever. He's the sweetest, most kind, gentle human being I've ever read. And the trope is fake marriage. Do I need to say more? And the last one is a Christmas book and it's a very merry bromance. And this one follows Colton and Gretchen and Colton is a country music singer. I do want you to be aware though that there is mild spice in there. So just be aware of that. I love those books with my whole heart and totally recommend each book in the series. I could not make a cozy books video without mentioning this book because one, it is my favorite book of all time. Two, it is the book that got me back into reading. And three, it is one of the coziest stories I've ever read. Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. If you've ever read this one, then you will wholeheartedly agree that this is the most wholesome, sweet, just warm little hug in a book. If you've never heard of Anne of Green Gables, let me fill you in, my friend. This one is following our main character, Anne, and Anne is a little orphan who gets adopted by a brother-sister duo, Matthew and Marilla. And Matthew and Marilla were not really looking to adopt a little girl. They really needed a farmhand, and they wanted a boy, but they were stuck with Anne. Well, they found out really quickly that Anne is such a lovable, adventurous, sweet, kind little girl, and maybe this is not so bad after all. I love this book with my whole heart. This next book is one that I just recently read and it was one of the coziest yet horrific books I've ever read. Cackle by Rachel Harrison. I adored this one. Let me say right off the bat that this is classified as cozy horror. So there are scenes in here that kind of mess with your stomach, but it's nothing not manageable, especially if you're fine with that kind of thing. This is so cute. So this one follows our main character Annie and Annie is a school teacher who moves towns because she got a new position. But she moves to this small town and she doesn't know anybody and she's just minding her own business one day and this woman named Sophie walks into the store and she's just kind of got a presence about her. She's got a confidence about her that Annie does not have and Sophie actually offers to show Annie around and kind of take her under her wing. Annie did not know what she was getting into and what she was getting into was this beautiful friendship. I just love this book so incredibly much. This is so super cozy and I could not put Rachel Harrison's writing down. It just kept you involved. It truly felt like you were there watching Sophie and Annie. This was one of the coziest books I've ever read. Keep in mind, there are some scenes in here that do classify as horror, but nothing too crazy. Also, Sophie is a witch. So cute. The next cozy book I'm gonna talk about is When in Rome by Sarah Adams. 
I mean, you can literally look at this book and know that that's gonna be a sweet, cozy time. So this one in particular follows Noah and Amelia. And Amelia is a pop star that is really desperately trying to just take a break. And so she Googles Rome and ends up in Rome, Kentucky. And on her hiatus, her car breaks down right in the front yard of Noah, which is the grumpy small town baker. Well, Noah being the kind soul that he is, he offers her a room in his house to stay while she is on this break. And then you can kind of guess from there that romance ensues and it ensues in the most perfect, clean, sweet way. I cannot say enough good things about this book. The small town, the banter, the sweet, sweet romance. It's just so cozy and you will not go wrong with this one. This next book is one that I read a couple of years ago, but I still think about this to this day. And that is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. This is a sweet YA story about Natasha and Natasha is just walking around the city of New York and she runs into this boy and they instantly hit it off and she starts having feelings for this guy and they decide that they're going to spend the day together. Well on the same day Natasha is actually told that her family is going to be deported to her home in Jamaica. Now I know that that sounds sad and not necessarily cozy but I promise you the sweet innocent vibes in here are just so warm and so comfy and I just want to hug this book so much. I just want to hug both of them because they're so sweet and so young and it's just so cozy. If you've not given this one a read, please do so. This next book is actually part of a series as well and that is The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I am not alone when I say that I absolutely adore this series. I love the characters, the setting, everything about it. This book is cozy to me because it just gives me nostalgic vibes. It brings me back to when I was this age and I just didn't really have a care in the world. So this series in particular, if you've not heard about it, is following our main character, Belly. And Belly finds herself in this teenage immature love triangle between two brothers that she has grown up with. Every summer, her and her family go to Cousins Beach as well as these two brothers and each summer sparks a new flame. Again, it just brings you back to those times in your life when you really didn't have a care in the world. All you were just looking forward to was summer and getting to spend it with your friends and just being young. So I love this book for that reason alone. This next recommendation comes just in time for Christmas and that is Cross Country Christmas by Courtney Walsh. Courtney Walsh is quickly becoming one of my favorite romance authors because not only does she write clean romances, but she also writes comfy, cozy romances. So this one in particular is following our main character, Lauren. And Lauren has always had a crush on her brother's best friend. That is until he does something stupid and kind of breaks her heart. So Lauren has been really upset with Will, her brother's best friend, for quite a while. So she's going to go visit her brother for Christmas and she finds herself in a pickle where Will is the only way that she can get up there to visit her brother. So they take a road trip and things romance ensue. The coziest parts about this book are the little stops that they make along the way because you can see them kind of falling for each other, but it seems like at each stop they're falling for each other just a little bit more. Oh, so good and perfect for Christmas. Next, I have a graphic novel that I could not live without, and that's The Witches by Roald Dahl, and the graphic novel is by Penelope Bijou. I absolutely adore this graphic novel. So this particular one is so cozy to me. Like this is a comfort graphic novel for me. I've read this like four or five times and I will read it again. So if you have never read the classic The Witches by Roald Dahl, it's basically following this little boy and his grandmama and his grandmama tells him a story about the witches and tells him to be aware that witches can look like everybody else, but they have things that you need to watch out for. So this little boy finds himself in a situation where he's stuck with a bunch of witches. <laughs> this is so much fun and these illustrations are just the cutest and I find myself laughing and cackling all the way through this just because it's it's hilarious and it's cozy at the same time. Like just trust me. 
You just gotta trust me on this one. The next book I'm gonna talk about is The Switch by Beth O'Leary. I absolutely adore this one. I don't physically own this one and I'm kind of upset because this cover is just so cute. Let me tell you just one thing about this one. This grandmother and this woman are each having problems in their love life, so they decide to switch lives. That's all I'm gonna tell you about it. So cute, so cozy. You cannot get much cozier than this one. And there you have it, my friends. Those are all the books that I wanna to talk to you about today. Those are my comfiest, most coziest reads that give me just the biggest, warmest hug. And those are the books that if I was gonna reread a book, that would probably be it. Not to say that I don't love so many more books, but those books in particular just give off the coziest vibes. Let me know down below what your coziest read is. I would love to know, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.